needs a lot of renovation. We've got uh, cutter bars on dozers and so forth, and a lot of people don't like cutter bar in the play playing now that a lot of people use motorbikes and four-wheel drives to muster their cattle. Tyne renovators are, uh, of course, are terrific to let the water in, but the, we haven't been able to um, shatter the ground enough and get rid of the woody weeds. We turn to the Grizzly for a bit more of an ease of operation and serviceability. We've covered about 2,500 acres so far. Light, sandy type country to your Briglow country. We're planting um, pasture and legumes to um, our country and some of the seeds worth up to you know, $28, $30 a kilo. We can change the rating of the seed from the cab but also um, it can be hooked through the GPS system so it can vary your rate with the, with the speed of the machine. Seabrook Cedars make two separate cedars and we've incorporated both cedars into one. In the back half of the, the cedar bin we've got buffalo grass compartment which kicks out buffalo grass, wheat, oats, barley, any of your bigger seeds, uncoated bigger seeds. And then at the front we've got seven fluted roller bins and you can plant your coated seed, your legumes, your coated buffalo grass, silk sorghum in your sugar drip seeds out of the front. We um, set the seed before we start the new job or the new line of seed and um, basically it's uh, trouble free, you don't really have to touch it for the rest of the job. Vanderfield guys in Chinchilla have been um, been quite um, supportive. When we bought the plough they've given us um, finance options through John Deere Finance. After sales backup has been pretty good so far so um, I'd um, recommend Vanderfield to anyone really. I've owned quite a few of them, so I started off with a 40 plate, uh, went to a 48, the next plate was a 56, and now we've got the uh, 76 plate field boss. We bought another block 18 months ago, and it's got about 2,000 uh, acres of suckers around, you know, 6, 8 foot high on it, and uh, read about the tinies, and bought this one after Farm Fest last year. Uh, since then we've done probably a bit over a thousand hectares with this, this machine and haven't had a spot of bother. And that you know the new field boss is probably the it'll be the best play I've ever had on it. Does a beautiful job, heavy frame, you know everything's right about now. We've also got a, a grizzly track renovator and a set of rippers so yeah basically nearly anything to grizzly make I've got old 64 plate, we wore her out. I don't really know how many acres is in excess of 30,000 anyhow. It was on its uh, eighth set of discs. One, one big advantage of grizzlies I find is they've got reasonable bearings. Uh, as a matter of a rule, and when we change the second set of discs, we put new bearings all the way through and keep the better ones out and uh, use them as they start to wear out on the fourth set. So. Now we've had a really good run out of them, I'd recommend them to anybody. Yeah, we're trying to deep rip, well we've levelled and it's rang up really shiny spots with a lot of salt in it, so we deep rip and uh, hopefully the storm will push down the salt in the area and yeah, get rid of all the compaction and it was virgin country, um, it was very heavily Lime bush, Bilar and Brigolo. We stick raked it and the lime bush well were very tall, they were just as tall as a D8. Went through with a tiny uh, 290, worked it up to probably a foot deep. Then we went through and uh, leveled it twice with just a land plane. There was a lot of sharp short melon holes, knocked them in and then we just grew a crop of oats as a cover crop last year to feed the sheep. And now yeah we've, we've come through and worked it with the new offsets which are uh, Field Boss 76 plate. Give us a bit of loose soil and ran the a land plane over it once more and then now we're deep ripping it just to try to get rid of all the compaction and uh, the salt. And what are you intending to do with the country now? Probably, yeah, dry land farm it. Wheat, sorghum, possibly cotton um, later on down the track after you know, it's hit its full potential.